Hello there. We're the third grade team at Dominion Trail Elementary School. We are so excited to start the new school year together. But first, we want to show you some really great resources. Your child can utilize these resources throughout the year. Each one has an important purpose. We hope you find this walkthrough beneficial. Feel free to contact us if you have any follow-up questions. All right, let's start learning about our devices. Start out by logging in with your LCPS ID number and password. Some of the computers are touchscreen and some are not. This computer in front of us that we'll be using is a touchscreen. Logging into our computers for the first time can be exciting, but it can also be a bit intimidating because there are so many programs available on LCPS Go. LCPS Go can change over time. More programs might be added and some might be taken away. Let's explore some possible programs that you might be using this year. The platform that LCPS is using this year is called Schoology. Each classroom teacher has a Schoology account. Updates in Schoology are provided very often. There, teachers can put up work, assignments, and many resources to help students throughout the year. Students should be logging into Schoology every academic day. BrainPop and BrainPop Junior are found in the library resources folder. The BrainPop Junior app is meant for the younger students, generally kindergarten through third grade, and BrainPop is meant for grades three and up. Third grade is right in the middle, so both sites might be used. Both sites offer a ton of educational content for all subject areas. They have a wide library of educational videos and supporting activities that go along with the videos. Discovery Education has a variety of educational resources for many areas, especially science. Teachers can give assignments within Discovery Education and students can do nearly limitless things, including doing their own research, watching educational videos. There is even a section that allows students to go on virtual field trips. In the math folder, Dreambox is a program that teaches and reinforces math concepts in a variety of different ways. It is an animated program that adapts to a student's level and addresses areas of need that are in math. The Go Math icon is also found in the math folder. Once in the program, students can access their online math books as well as educational videos and other math content. The Google folder contains links to a student's Google Drive, Google Meets, and of course, that infamous Google homepage. There is also a folder called Office 365. That folder contains Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and several other Office products. The Library Resources folder is where a large number of educational resources can be found. It contains many sites, including online reference materials that students can log on and do their own research. In addition, Pebble Go has a lot of information and articles and activities. It's designed for students in grades kindergarten through third grade and tends to be very user-friendly. Tumble Books is one of the apps to find online books. It is found in the Library Resources folder. When students log into Tumble Books, they can access a variety of books and even have books read to them. Another reading site is Raz Kids. Raz Kids has a ton of reading activities that are designed for readers of all levels. Students will need their teachers to set up their Raz Kids account and set their reading levels. Once logged in, students can do a variety of reading activities including listening to books as well as take comprehensive assessments. The social studies and science books are featured when you log into LCPS Go. Clicking on them should log you into a site where you can then choose your grade level. You can also choose your book with audio support. In addition to all of these, there are some other sites that you may or may not have heard of. Innerland is a game that focuses on internet safety and digital citizenship. Scratch allows students to create their own stories and games. Wixie is a site where students can create their own art, digital projects, and stories, and so much more. We've just covered a few of the apps available on LCPS Go, and as mentioned before, the resources change from time to time. But feel free to explore the apps on your own, then ask your teachers if you need help. Let's review a few tips to help keep us and our devices safe. 
never give your information out to strangers, or put it into websites that you don't know. Make good choices by only visiting appropriate websites and don't say anything rude or hurtful directed at other people online. Make sure your devices are charged before lessons start, or maybe you could plug into an outlet if you're close enough. Remember to keep your device away from liquids of any kind. Do not leave your laptop on the floor. It could get stepped on. Most sites are very well protected by Loudoun County, but just in case you see a suspicious email or advertisement telling you that you've won a prize, you probably should not trust it. Well, hello there. It's the big winner calling. Your website said that I was the 100th visitor today. I'm calling to get my $5,000 prize. Well, that's odd. Why do you need my credit card information? Whenever you're using a device, remember the two S's. Be smart and be safe. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you really soon. Bye.